Go deep, Wanish Way in August tomorrow. How often in life is it that you gather together your closest friends and family, and the ones that you're allowed actually, in the one space for the sole purpose of celebrating love? This is one of those memory making occasions, so relax, enjoy yourselves, and remember that we are all here for the two of you. So I will be here. I will be here. You can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells us we're older. I will hold you and I will be here to watch you grow in beauty and tell you things that you are to me. I will be here. I will be true to the promise I have made to you and to the one who gave you to me. I will be here. Technology, this pair took a leap of faith into the unknown and made the first brave step toward finding true love. With just two swipes right and a few charming messages, Tamara and Wayne hit it off instantly. And after a few days of texting back and forth, Wayne couldn't wait to meet Tamara in person and so he asked her on their very first date. Meanwhile, our girl Tamara here had to cancel a date with someone else to make this one happen. Really? <laughs> But she just knew that it was worth breaking hearts all over Ireland because men, this devilishly handsome, don't come along too often. <laughs> and so it was on a sunny Saturday afternoon, this pair decided to meet. Pulling up in his car, the first thing Tamara noticed was Wayne's beautiful smile. And luckily for Wayne, he was just her type. Her very specific type, in fact, and that is any man reminiscent of a jolly giant. And for Wayne, his first impression was, whoa. Never had he ever seen such fiery red hair, and being a fan of all things Irish, Tamara's wild and wistful red locks had him hook, line and sinker. Having never met anyone off a dating site, Wayne was actually feeling a little nervous, but within seconds of meeting Tamara, those nerves were gone, and they spent the whole day at the seaside having lunch and eating ice cream together. Tamara says that she was convinced from that day that this was the man for her. Wayne was just so confident, undeniably had the gift of the gab, was a textbook charmer, and the cherry on top was that he was very easy on the eye. And though Wayne tried playing a cool in the beginning, it was clear that he too was charmed. He said that Tamara just made him feel totally relaxed in her company. She was so calm, collected, it all felt so natural and went so well. 
Although they had only just met, in no time at all, they were putting the world to rights. Having had so much in common and having fancied one another since the moment they met, it wasn't very long before this pair confessed their love for one another. To Tamara, Wayne was perfect. He was spontaneous and carefree, was so easy to talk to, was always coming up with really cool date ideas, and most importantly, he could play literally any Beyonce tune on the flute. And it was from the moment of that discovery she knew he was a keeper. Wayne says that Tamara was like no one he had ever met. She was so affectionate, considerate, hardly ever done anything that annoyed him, had amazing taste in men, his words not mine, and not much has changed since. <laughs> Over the next five years, Tamara and Wayne continue to be travel partners and very best friends. They say there's nothing they like more than going to trad sessions, checking out new restaurants, heading on long walks with their dogs and making life plans as they go. Wayne's favourite thing to do is pretty much anything Tamara, Bo and Lennox want to do too. Every day, Tamara is thankful to have someone so fun-loving, adventurous and confident by her side. When watching Wayne play in session, she could just burst with pride. Seeing how passionate he is about tribe music makes her so proud to be with him. Wayne is immature and wild in the best possible way. He is always making Tamara laugh and always makes time for her every single day. She loves that he likes to share new experiences together, that he is an old romantic and even though it's usually pretty terrible that he tries his best to cook her delicious meals most nights. And his beard, she really likes his beard. It's a good beard. Because of Wayne's influence, Tamara has learned just how important it is to live in the moment and to go with the flow. He has taught her what it really means to be part of a team. And above all else, that even though there are millions of movies and TV series out there, never will she ever be able to find any that hasn't already watched. Through all of their years and adventures together, Wayne has fallen ever more in love with Tamara. She cares for him in a way that he has never known, showing him every day that it is possible to be loved in his entirety. She has taught him that there is no value in worrying about what's been and gone and that the only thing that matters is being happy in yourself with who you really are. Wayne especially loves how incredibly thoughtful Tamara is in lots of little ways and says that the fact that she cooks him a fry every Sunday morning without fail is exactly the type of behaviour that secured her a marriage proposal. Tamara is caring, considerate, loving and remarkably intelligent and even though she's not always right, she is never far wrong. Simply put, Tamara is his best friend. They can talk to one another about absolutely anything. They face every single problem as a team and Wayne simply couldn't love her any more than he already does. left hand, place the ring on the tip of her third finger and repeat after me. As I place this ring on your finger, as I place this ring on your finger, I give you all that I am, I give you all that I am, and all that I ever hope to be, and all that I ever hope to be. Tamara, please take Wynn's left hand, place the ring on the tip of his third finger and repeat after me. As I place this ring on your finger, I place this ring on your finger. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I ever hope to be. And all that I ever hope to be. <laughs> Wayne and Samara, you have made your vows here today in the presence of those who mean most to you. You have committed to making your one life the very best that it can be for one another and together as a married couple. Therefore, it gives me enormous pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. <laughs>
Marriage is about giving and talking, and forgiving and forsaking, kissing and loving, pushing and shoving, caring and sharing, and screaming and swearing. About being together, whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness, wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when you're feeling quite weak. It's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak. It's about being wrong when you know you're right. It's about giving in before there's a fight. It's all about you two living as cheaply as one. And if you can do that, give us all a good idea on that one. Never heeding advice that was always well meant. Never counting the cost until it's all spent. And for you two today, it's about to begin. And for all that the two of you had to put in. Some days filled with joy and some days filled with sadness. Too late, you'll discover that marriage is madness. <laughs>